Hello there, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a home automation device. That is, I'm going to show you how to control 6 individual relays through Blink 2.0. So let's get started with this video. The first is about the circuit. Here I am using NodeMCU as microcontroller. You can use any Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller for this purpose. To control the electrical device, we need 6 relays. So I connected each relay circuit to the GPIOs of NodeMCU. So that's all about the circuit diagram. You can download the circuit diagram from my website. Link is in the video description. After designing the circuit, I converted the circuit into a PCB and I designed the PCB. So after completing the design, our PCB looks like this. Now I generated and downloaded the Gerber files for PCB fabrication. To fabricate PCBs, I went to jlcpcb.com. JLCPCB offers only $2 for 5 PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. To order, click on order now and upload the Gerber file. After uploading, we can select the quantity, color, thickness, etc. Here I choose the red color. To that I select the shipping method and place the order. After 2 weeks I received the PCBs and here are our PCBs. As always the PCB quality is awesome and looks nice. So now let's start the soldering. First I place the SMD components and solder them. Then I place the THT components and solder it. I completed all the relay sections first. Then I place the female header pins for the node MCU. After completing all the soldering, our automation PCB looks something like this. Now let's set up the software side. First go to blink.cloud, then log in or sign up with your account. After that, click on the new template. Now I gave the name Home Automation. I selected ESP8266 as hardware and the connection type is Wi-Fi and down. Now go to data stream, new data stream, select virtual pin because we are using virtual pins. In the coming window, give the name, here I gave relay1, then select the virtual pin V0. Next select the data type as integer, then click on create. The same way I made 5 more data streams, each time I selected different virtual pins and that's it. Now go to the web dashboard and select the switch icon from the left bar then drag and drop into the canvas. Same way add 5 more switches. After adding the switch icons, now click on the switch icon and select the settings. Here you can name the switch and select the data stream. Also change the on value to 0 and off value to 1. Then click save. Do the same for all 6 switches. Finally save everything from the top right corner. Now let's connect our module to PC and open Arduino ID. Now go to sketch, include libraries, manage libraries and install the latest Blink library. Here is the code for this project. You can download it from my website. After opening the code in Arduino ID, you have to replace the template ID and device name. For that, go back to the blink.cloud and copy the details from the info tab and paste them into the Arduino ID. In this code, I gave different functions for each virtual pin. In the setup section, I defined all the pins as output. After selecting the board and port, I changed the erase flash option to erase all flash content. Now let's upload the code. After uploading the code, let's set up the mobile app. For that, open the Blink IoT app and log in or sign up with your previously used account. After login, click on add new device, then click on connect to Wi-Fi. 
so it will detect our home automation or MCU. Now click on it. You can see the connection successful message. Also, you can see the same message in the serial monitor. Now give the SSID and password of your router or hotspot. Remember, our NodeMC only trying to connect to this hotspot. After this, our device is connected. Now let's set up the mobile dashboard. For that, click on the top right corner. Then select the developer mode. Then click on our device. Then click on plus icon. From there, add 6 switches then arrange it according to your ideas now click on each switch then give a name next select the data stream now change the mode to switch from push then change the color if you want that's it press back to save the changes repeat this for all other switches the only change is in the selection of data stream after changing everything press back now you can see the interface. So it's time for the first test. Remember to use a minimum 3 ampere power supply. Now you can see the perfect working of 6 relays. So this is how I made the blink automation. If you are confused with anything. You can comment it or you can message me. You can download the circuit and code from my website. Link is given in the description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by like, share and subscribe. It's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video.